Forget it. Amy hates beaches. She'd never want to go. Who said anything about inviting Amy? It's a date. Just you and me. But how are we supposed to get her car? Let's see how clever, Lobe, you can be. This is nice of you to ask me for a walk, Doyle. What do you want? I know we've had our differences in the past, but it's time we put them aside. I mean, we're the only two Earthlings here. We gotta stick together, learn to share, and get along. I couldn't agree with you more. Good. Now, I know how you feel about beaches, but spring break is coming up, and it sure would be fun to go to Fort Lauderoy. Oh, Doyle, I'd love to go. You would? Uh, that's great! Terrific! Arguigi! But, no, I, I can't go. Why not? Well, because I'm only thinking of you. I, I know you're allergic to sand and how badly you blister. Well, I, I won't mind. But you'll sneeze so hard you'll, you'll sandblast yourself. No, I'll stay here. You're right. I really do hate beaches, but just because I can't go doesn't mean you shouldn't. I don't have a car. You said we should share. Take mine. You're terrific. It'll be hard, but I'll try to have some fun without you. What's wrong with this walk room? Where are you going for spring break, Wendy? A foot lot of right. How about you? Oh, staying here to catch up on my studies. I'm looking forward to some peace and quiet. Wendy, why are you putting that in my car? Didn't Doyle mention he's taking me to Fort Lauderoy? Ooh, you, you cosmic clod! We gotta stick together, gotta share! I must have been an idiot to have believed you! I'll never trust you again! No need to be upset, Amy. I can't go to Fort Lauderoy anyway. See, Amy, no need to be upset. What? I flunked mercuric chemistry class, and Professor Eisenstein is making me do extra credit during break. How? How? Simple. I didn't study hard enough. No. How am I supposed to get to Fort Lauderoy for spring break? I'm desperate. Hey, Chicky Queeps, need a ride to Fort Lauderoy? How desperate? Let's blast out of here. This place. Gave me a space yacht for a week. Can you stand it? All aboard for Fort Lauderoy. Hey, this stinks. Where do you gooners always think you're going? With Reggie? That idea stinks. I can't stand it if you aren't going to come too, Amy. Sorry, she can't. 
We're sticking together, studying. Speak for yourself, Zork. I can't stand it! I can't stand it! Fort Lodroy, here we come! <laughs> Bye, Doyle. Have fun studying. <laughs> <laughs> Nova block for me. I need it or I'll get brain damage. Oh, what's the point? Bowie, look! It's Frankie Avalunar. Isn't he queechy? Oh, I heard he's dating Comet Monticello. Oh, the things I could tell him about that girl. Why, last week I was just telling Amy. Amy, I said, hey, where is Amy? Hi, girls. Ready to let the guys chase after us, huh? No, Amy. Fort Lauderoy is where the girls chase the guys. Really? Well then, let's go shopping. Wow, I've never seen anything like that. The sea is red. I, I guess that's why they call it the Red Sea. We have a Red Sea on Earth too, but it's blue. Forget the sea, you should see what I see. Oh, hi there, tall, dark, and scary. Mind if I join you? Oh, you're taller, darker, and fuzzier. I think I'll join you instead. Well, we better start shopping for boys before Wendy picks up all the merchandise. There's a cute guy over there. Wait, wish me luck. Good luck, Bowie. With what? Ugh. Hi, my name's Boy Bubblehead. What's yours? Alan Airhead. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet who? You. We met? Yeah, you're Alan Airhead. I didn't forget your name. Gee, I like smart girls. Do you know any? Know any what? Smart girls. By the way, I, I'm Billy Bubblehead. I'm Alan Airhead. Want to go out sometime? With who? You know, it's just so hard to find a guy who'll listen these days. All they do is talk, talk, talk. I can't get in a word edgewise. It's nice to meet a guy who'll listen. Have you heard the latest about... Uh, hi. Like, uh, want to go uh, dune bug riding? Well, okay, I, I guess. A blast? Yeah, a blast! <laughs> uh, sure you don't want to ride some more? No, thanks. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Out of my way, Airhead. That bully! You can't let him push you around like that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He can't push me around. Who can? Hey, watch it, B. That's what you get for looking like a beach towel. There he is, the slumberzoid. Watch me flatten Reggie's tire. Wait a joint, B. I have a more fun way to get. <laughs> I can't stand it! I've never had this much fun! Sensational display of humor! Beep! I love it! I can't stand it! Get a lot of him, Beef! He loved it! He loved it! One way or another, I'll voice his inner tone! How is your project coming along, Doyle? Why are supernovas so important anyway? Why? Because they are unpredictable solar masses that expand into thermal destructive forces and incinerate any molecular matter in their general vicinity, you see. You mean they get hot and blow up? Precisely. 
this is the hottest summer Nova in years. Yeah, it's too hot. I think I'll go for a swim. Me too. Wow, what bodies! If his body is half as good as the others, I'd love to go out with him. Go for him! Hi, care to take a dip with me? Sure, sounds guichi. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? Where are you going? What'd he say? Was he fresh? I want all the dirt. Leave me alone. I'm miserable. <laughs> I want to go back to my room. What's the matter? Did he break your heart? If he did, I'll break his neck if he had one. No, no, it's just... I'm having a lousy time here. Just like on the beach on Earth. Except there, I, I wasn't right for any of the guys. Here, none of them are right for me. Then who's your dream boy? Oh, someone with two arms and two legs. Someone fun. Someone with one head and one body. Someone human. Gee, that doesn't sound like any guy I know, except maybe Doyle. Doyle? That no good double crossing? After what he pulled with Wendy? Maybe he did that just to make you jealous. Aren't Earth boys like that? Yeah, sometimes. Maybe he's really crazy about you. <laughs> Doyle! I did it! I figured out when a supernova will happen. Good, good, good work, my boy. <laughs> Which one? On the summer nova. It'll blow up tomorrow. Isn't that great? Oh, wait. Isn't that where Fort Lauderoid is? Professor Eisenstein, well, what does this mean? It's gonna go boom! Oh, we've got to warn all the students. Come on! Me? Go to the summer nova? If you flip your flugel, I would melt. But you have to go. They won't believe me. I'm just an earthling. Aha, since you put it that way. Alrighty, okay, I'll go. But I shall have to take my refrigerated underwear, dry ice denims, and we'll have to go in my refrigerated space van. We're cool. Let's go. Cool? Cool is not good enough. We have to freeze. Hey, can't you do anything but walk on me? Yeah, this. All right. Which one of you Zlorbs is the wise guy? Sand Shark! Every alien into the water! I know I can't stand this. And I had 50,000 miles left on that tie over. <laughs> Brother, uh, can you spare a spare? <laughs> you know, Cleverlo, I'm getting cold feet about this trip. You're getting cold feet. I tell you to bring a spare crust to Holly, and what do I hear? Not to worry. Now, here we are, stuck in the middle of Andromeda. Get off my back, Myrtle. Oh, hi. to a service satellite. I would, but we're in a real hurry. A Nova's about to blow up. Oh, fine. Go to your Nova. Oh, don't mind me. I'll suffer. OK, OK, Mrs. Blastermeyer, get in. My gosh, it's cold in here. I haven't felt such coldness since Harvey's family reunion. And look out for that nebula. You want to crash and turn us all into cosmic dust? <laughs> Let's take a cruise on my, my space, space yacht. yacht. Can, Can you, you stand it? Oh. Sorry! It's my party, and you're not invited. You're not, you're not, you're not. Yeah, I'm gonna get you for this, Treadhead. Swips and clones will break my bones. Penny for your thumb. How come you never offered me that much? Oh, I'm thinking about Doyle. Do you really think he likes me? Oh, I bet he's nutsoid about you. Guys act 
nuts when they're nutsoid. It wouldn't surprise me if he showed up and asked you to go steady. Groski! I wouldn't want him to see me in this condition. Ah! What condition? Nobody's having fun if I ain't in fight. because we gave Harvey and Myrtle a lift. We must be getting close to the summer nova. The temperature is up to 32 degrees. One more degree and I melt. We made it, Professor. Professor? Oh, no. Professor, speak to me. Make a bubble, anything. Until we get back to Galaxy High, we'll need a code. How about one bubble means yes, and two bubbles means no? Good. I, I hope you're not mad at me. Well, don't get steamed, Professor. I mean, calm down. You'll evaporate yourself. Oh, Doyle, you're here. <laughs> Gazoontoid, I got here as fast as I could. I'm so glad, but I wish you didn't have to see me like this. That doesn't matter. There's something very important I have to tell you. I think I know what it is. You do? Good. Then you know how hot things are going to get around here. Oh, Doyle. I didn't think you cared. Care? Of course I care. Come on, let's tell the others. You're right. I'll tell the girls, and... And you tell the guys. Great. Meet you back here. Till then, I'll be counting the moments. <laughs> Me too. Milo, pack up your things. The summer nova's about to become a supernova. Bully, guess what? I'm going steady with Doyle. Ah, oh, that's super glitchy. Who's Doyle going steady with? I've got to tell you. No, let me do it. Doyle and Amy are going steady. Yeah, so let's get out of here before... What? Who said that? I did. Where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Stupid idea? Is this another one of your jokes, Doyle? No, this place is going to blow up any minute. The only thing blowing up right now is me. <laughs> How could you? First you tricked me into giving you my car, now this! If you don't believe me, ask Professor Eisenstein. Tell her, Professor, the place is going to blow up, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for thinking of me, Earth Boy. No, you can't! What did you do with my glass? Oh, it's around here. Somewhere. Hold it. No one drink. Hey, what's sizzling? <laughs> Smells like something cooking. Beef, or should I say, over easy. <laughs> Sheesh, maybe that Earth Boy was right. Maybe this place is gonna blow up. Professor Eisenstein, is that you? Professor, are you in there? Oh, it's hopeless. No one believes me. Faster, girls. This place is hotter than most parties I've thrown. Yeah, let's get back to Galaxy High. Where it's cool. Great! Fire up your space yacht, Reggie. Let's get out of here. This place stinks. Look, there's not enough room. Why don't some of you ride with me? Now, don't panic. We'll all fit somehow. And don't forget to bring your glasses of water. Come on, Doyle. Let's get going. 
Wait, has anyone seen Amy? She's not in here. We can't leave without her. Now sit tight while I go look for her. Forget her, Doyle, or we'll all be toasted. You can't leave. There you are. Well, what are you doing here? <laughs> Hiding. Go away. I don't ever want to see you again. No problem. We're both going to be blown to cosmic dust in about ten minutes. Look, Doyle, don't pull that exploding Nova story on me again. It's not a story. It's the truth. I'm telling you, Myrtle, it's too hot. We should go to Malibu Moon. For 30 years you've been promising me Fort Lauderoy. We're staying, hearty. Mrs. Blastermeyer, am I glad to see you. Boy, must be sick. This beach is going to blow up. Hear that, Myrtle. Let's go. Oh, no. Don't think you're using that as an excuse to go to Malibu Moon for cheaper rates. You mean, you were telling the truth? What happened? We ran out of gas. There's too much weight. Tommy, are you trying to give us whiplash or what? It's the game. Got a spare gas can? No, but come on in, kids. Myrtle, are you? Nuts. There's not enough room for all these kids. And whose fault is that? You always buy a compact when I beg you to buy a shuttle wagon. Hurry, everybody. The Nova's going to explode in ten seconds. Floor it, Harvey! Five, four, three, two, one. It looks like Doyle screwed up again. I say we go back to the beach. You can't! Turn this crate around. Harvey, what was that? Did we blow a thruster? Was it our gallbladder? Do you need a little seltzer? What? Nope, he's not that one. Hey, let me out of here! Professor, everything's cool. No, everything is frozen. Except there's still something wrong with my frostbite. Doyle, would you like to take a walk with me? No, thanks. Amy! <coughs> oh, great place, Amy. But I'm allergic to flowers. I owe you an apology, and I I'd like to make it up to you. Would you like to go to the beach on our next break, huh? One that doesn't blow up? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'd like that. I'll even drive. Uh, sounds squeechy. Only one thing. Anything. Can Wendy go too? Why, you... Amy, what are you doing? <laughs> Getting a last laugh. <laughs> 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 